Amigos, ¿cómo están? Daniel Sicar nuevamente con ustedes, apoyándolos desde nuestro canal, un canal interactivo, trabajando temas de gran interés, very important topics, guys, in order for you to learn English properly, ¿ok? Today, with a great topic, we're going to start with our B2 topics, the B2 level topics, and we want you to enjoy this video, as uh, I guess you have enjoyed their, all the videos that we have done, ¿ok? So we're going to start with these two little friends right here. For, for versus since, okay? Two prepositions that sometimes are troublemakers. So what we're going to try to do is to be able to understand through different examples what it, this is about, okay? So let's check for, you know, which spells F, you know, O, R, F for Frank, O for Oscar, R for Romeo. I always do this because I need you to practice and to spell the alphabet. It's very important when you spell addresses, email addresses, your uh, street address, your name, your last name. So it's very important. We have been practice. We have been practicing this since we started. For example, there, you know, you can notice that I'm using since, and since, which is S for sun, I for igloo. And for Nancy or November, you build that alphabet, okay? Your international phonetic alphabet, you build it your own. C for car and E for elephant, okay? So, um, as we can see here in the picture, let's note the difference. No? I have been working here since 2000. Since what we can understand give us a definite point in time, okay? A definite point when that action or that situation took place or happened. I have, you know, that's the contraction of half. If you haven't checked our contractions video, our contractions activity, of course I recommend you to check it, to stay connected with us in order to improve your English and be able to understand what we say here. So I have or have been working here since 2000, right? It's in bold and it gives us the information, exactly, accurate point in time, since 2000, year 2000. Since you can also use it at the beginning, right? You can also it at the beginning of the sentence, for example, since is used, right? Or this is the definition, sorry. Since is used for a specific point in time, what we, what we talk about. Since three o'clock, since Friday, since last month, since the beginning of the century, are examples of definite points, accurate points in time, right? All of them with since in bold, giving, giving us the information. Now, uh, for example, oh, an example with four, which is the other side, would be this one, for example. I've been studying here, or I have been studying here for 12 years. That, what I understand, and I don't know you guys there, what about you guys there, for give us the period, right? The duration, the period of time, the length of that action, right? I've been studying here for 12 years. So during that time, you have been studying there or here in this case for so for is used to describe the duration of the action the duration of the action okay. uh, the, no, it differs from since because since give us straight the point when the action started and in this case for is, is used to describe the duration the duration of the action for two hours for six months right for a minute for ages, no, tenemos acá entonces, for two hours, no, por dos horas, for six months, for seis meses, for a minute, for a second, right, for three seconds, por un minuto, por eras, no, <coughs> it's an expression for ages, I have been waiting for you, right, for ages, it's, it means that you were waiting for a long time, or you have been waiting for a long time for this person to show up. Since three o'clock, no, above, desde las tres en punto, since Friday, desde el viernes, since last month, right, desde el mes pasado, since the beginning of the century, desde el comienzo del siglo. 
So, and the sand clock over there in the picture. Entonces, en esta imagen como tal, observamos, ¿no? We can see some other examples. We can see some other examples about the use of for or since, depending on the context. So, we're going to complete the sentences below. Y quiero que ustedes allá, por supuesto, en sus hogares, en sus trabajos, donde sea que se encuentren, estén con nosotros compartiendo y realizando el ejercicio. For you to understand it properly. So, let's check this out. Sara, number one, right? The first one. Sara has lived in London since 1985, right? Sara has lived, that's present perfect. So, as you can see, and if you haven't checked that topic, the present perfect topic, we invite you to check our videos, to check that topic with us, in order to understand it better. So, Sara has lived in London, in London since 1985 is clear. The point in time is a year, since 1985. Now, the second one. Since Christmas, the weather has been quite good. So you also can use since to establish a specific holiday season, right? And so you're being clear with that, okay? Desde Navidad, right? Since Christmas, the weather has been quite good. El clima ha sido bastante bueno, right? So you can also use it in that way. Since Halloween, we haven't disguised or we haven't worn any costume, okay? Since Halloween, we'd, since Holy Weeks and last Holy Week, right? We haven't prayed, for example. That would be very, a very bad thing, okay? But it's just for you to get familiar. With a definite point, you can use since. Number three, right? The house is very dirty. The house is very dirty. We haven't cleaned it. Right? We haven't cleaned it. We haven't cleaned it for ages. So one more time. <clears throat> there has been a long time, right? Since you, right? You clean your house. You can also do it in backwards, right? So the house is very dirty dirty. We haven't cleaned it for ages. So it has been a long time, but we don't know exactly the point since you cleaned it last time. So that's the difference between since. Since the definite point for is not accurate. It could be the duration of that action. Number four, right? For number four we have, they have known, or they've, no, they've, it's the sound of the contraction, practice at home. They've known each other, they've known each other since they were at school. They've known each other, they've known, they've, they've is the pronunciation. Do it over and over again because it gives, it gives you fluency. They've known each other since they were at school. Ellos se conocen, el uno al otro, se conocen desde que estaban, right, en el colegio. They've known each other since they were at school. I haven't had, no, we go with number five. I haven't had a holiday for 10 years. I haven't had a holiday, right? No, I tenido un festivo, I haven't had a holiday for 10 years. So we don't know exactly when, when was the definite point, which date or what exactly you know, was the day, or the day when he had his last holiday. So that's the explanation. It's just letting us know about the duration of time. Okay? So practice since, right? I haven't slept for years or I haven't slept for months is not clear when was the last time you slept well. But if you say I haven't slept since last week, well, we know that the definite point was the last week. So I want you to practice all those sentences, okay? In la siguiente imagen, right, we're going to see the next image. In la siguiente imagen, como tal, we're going to analyze some information or some other examples. This time with our friend Bill Gates, right? So it says Bill Gates, right? Now you know how to spell his last name. He's one of the most uh, billionaires or the most famous billionaires on earth. Bill Gates has been married to Melinda French Gates, right? 
Bill Gates has been married, right? This has this time because we're working, or we're talking about a third person. And the present perfect, the auxiliary for third person is has. Okay, but I say Bill Gates ha, ha estado casado, is has been. Recordemos que been puede ser sido, ha sido, o ha estado. In this case, the sentence give you, gives you, sorry, the context, okay? So Bill Gates, Bill Gates has been married to Melinda, French Gates, since 1994, right? It's very clear when they got married, 1994. So that's the definite point, so you use since, okay? Remember to spell S for sun, I for igloo, N for Nancy, C for car, E for elephant, since. And we have some other examples here, here from one to four. Number one, computers, right? We talk about plural, so you go back to have. Estamos hablando de plural. Vuelve usted a usar have, ¿no? Plural, o con los sujetos pronombres I, right? You, ¿sí? And the plurals, we, you, they. Computers, in this case, have been used always the past participle of the verb. If you haven't checked that topic of past participles of different verbs, we invite you to check it in our videos, in our channel, and you will improve that area. And of course, leave your comments because we want to improve for you guys. This is not totally accurate, so we want you, we want to interact with our audience, okay? So we have, computers have been used in schools for more than a decade. For more than a decade, so a little bit more than a decade, but it's not precise, it's not accurate, the information is not accurate. That's why you use for. It's the duration of time, but not in a next specific point in time. Number two, I have had a computer, right? I've had, or I have had, that depends if you want to use a contraction. I have had a computer in my office, this is definite, since the mid-90s, since the mid-1990s, okay? So, it's very accurate in the point of time. If you check the computers one, no, number one, it's used for more than a decade. We don't know how much more, okay? So, I have had a computer in my office since the mid-1990s, or the mid-90s, is with since, it's accurate. Number three, many students have worked with computers, you replace some factors, you can say many people have worked with computers, right? Many painters have painted, you know, uh, different pictures or famous pictures for many years. The Mona Lisa or you can talk about different contexts and you will always use since or for depending on what you want to say. Many students have worked compu with computers for many years, we don't know exactly how many years, so uh, that's why you use four, okay? For many years, there, they can be only four years or can, uh, they can be 20 years, so there is not a definite number. Or the information is not accurate, it's just the duration, express duration and time. And number four, my computer, once again, is just one. Third person, you go back to has, puedes usar has. This time in a negative form, present perfect. My computer hasn't given me, no me ha dado, no me ha causado, no me ha dado. My computer hasn't given me any problems since last year. It's very clear for us with this information that there has been like a whole year or since last year, you, you haven't had any problems with your computer. It's different if you say my computer hasn't given me any problems for months, we don't know how many exactly, okay? But since last year, it's more specific. Entonces, queremos que sigan compartiendo con nosotros distintos temas, but de bastante importancia, since versus for, it usually cause troubles, causa, bueno, causa pensar bastante acerca de las diferencias, pero seguramente con nuestro canal, con el apoyo de estos videos, lograrán entender más a fondo cada uno de estos temas. Queremos seguir practicando con ustedes, dejen sus comentarios, suscríbanse a nuestro canal, seguimos trabajando temas de los distintos niveles, muy cerca a lo que el marco común europeo quiere que estudiemos, que practiquemos, 
y por supuesto espero verlos pronto. My name is Daniel Sicar and it was great to see you again guys. Just stay connected with us. Mm -hmm.